Uh, this is from Muhajjabin Jannah. Are Ash'ari and Maturidi Bid'ati and out of Ahl Sunnah Wal Jama'ah and among the deviant 72 sects in our subcontinent most of the people believe in Ash'ari or Maturidi creed. What our stand should be about them. This is a long topic. See, when we say that we are Ahl Sunnah Wal Jama'ah, this has two meanings. Either it means Sunnis versus Shia, and by this definition, Mu'tazila, Ash'ari, Maturidi, all those Sufis, etc., they will all consider to be Ahl Sunnah Wal Jama'ah because they're not Shia. But if we mean by Ahl Sunnah Wal Jama'ah, those who have the same creed of the Prophet ﷺ, the companions, the Tabi'een, and the Tabi'i Tabi'een, the favorite three generations, in this case, the Maturidi and the Ash'ari are definitely not part of Ahl Sunnah Wal Jama'ah. Because the late Ash'aris who are contemporary now, see, the origin of Ash'ariyah is from Abu Hassan al-Ash'ari, who was a Mu'tazili for 40 years, then followed the opinions of Abdullah ibn Kullab, Abdullah ibn Sa'id ibn Kullab, and then some scholars say that he repented and rejected all of his previous innovations and bad creeds, as he had written in his book Al-Ibana. And he announced that he's going back to the Aqidah of Ahl Sunnah al Jama'ah and specifically the Aqidah of Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal. Others say that he repented, true, but he could not get rid of every small thing that was clinging to him and attached to him. So he still had some remains of Ibn Kullab Aqidah in him. Now, having said that, the contemporary Ash'aris, they are Jabriyah in Qadr. In predestiny, they have their belief of Jabr. And in Iman, they have the Aqidah of Al-Irja. And in the Allah's attributes, they have a taatil And they clearly say that we do not approve of any of Allah's beautiful attributes except seven. So they deny that Allah is upon his throne. They deny that Allah is above his creation. And they say things that are baseless when they say that Allah is not above, he's not uh, uh, in this world, he's not uh, uh, out of this world, and many other things which clearly state that they are not from Ahl Sunnah al Jama'ah per se. Now, having said that, we have to make it clear that not everyone who says something of what the Ash'aris say is considered to be a full-fledged full Ash'ari. Because sometimes you may find a scholar like Ibn Hajar or a Nawawi who may say something that was said by the Ash'aris, but they don't adopt all of their opinions not even the majority of their opinions. But this was a single error or a mistake. We do not take such great scholars out of Ahl Sunnah al Jama'ah. And this is what Shaykh Ibn Uthaymeen clarified in his book, Sharh al Mumtir, when he said that just because Ibn Hajar or a Nawawi said something that might coincide with what the Ash'aris say, this doesn't make them Ash'aris. Similarly, if we were Hanbalis and we adopted one of the views of Imam Shafi'i, would that make us Shafi'is? Definitely not. So I hope this answers 
your question.